Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And what we're going to take a look at real quick in this video is Ubiquity has changed the name of some Wi-Fi settings now back where it was, uh, you know, we were tinkering with the name Wi-Fi QoS. Uh, we have now changed it back to Wi-Fi speed limit. And I think this is a good move. Let's take a look at it. So on your Unify controller under profile and Wi-Fi speed limit, they have they have been tinkering with the name of this as to Wi-Fi QoS. And at one point we had one name for it under profiles and one name under the Wi-Fi. And I'm going to show you that here in just a second. This, you know, in 7.5.176, the names are congruent. But um, you can see here for this network, we've got it set up as guest with four meg down, two meg up, should be more than enough. Uh, stream a video, listen to, listen to some music, check, you know, some email. That is per client. That is not per SSID. And it's important to know that it is a speed limit, that it's not necessarily QoS, right? Because QoS is a mechanism that is going to guarantee certain types of traffic. All this is doing is really, you know, limiting what each client overall can transfer. So if I've got 100 clients on the guest network, they can each transfer four megs. So that's 400 megs. It doesn't matter what type of traffic it is. So, I mean, in a sense, you could say, I guess it's like a, a quality of service. If you limit how many clients can connect to the network, then you would know the high end of your, your bandwidth intake and output. But uh, uh, generally, I don't consider this to be QoS, and I don't think too many other people would either because within that four megs, we're not giving voice priority. We're not giving video priority. It's just a, a smorgasbord of traffic and whatever gets there gets there. So under profiles, it is back to Wi-Fi speed limit. And then under Wi-Fi, it is back to Wi-Fi uh, speed limit here. Um, and you can see the tooltip says sets upload and download bandwidth limits for clients on this network. If disabled, default Wi-Fi speed limit profile will be used, which is unlimited. So they, they did the right thing. They're not calling it uh, QoS. So I, I, I think it was a little confusing. I kind of I see it from, from both sides, but I'm glad that they actually went back to the Wi-Fi uh, speed limit. Now, we do have some access points in our uh, inventory that we're, we're going to be setting up that do QoS, right? So our Grandstream access points do QoS, um, and so we're going to be taking a look at that. But if you've got questions about this, let me know down in the comments if you've got access points that do actual quality of service, you know, on our DSCP markings, things like that, or you can, you know, set percentages. Let me know what brands you've got down in the comments. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment, share. Please follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below along with affiliate links and a Patreon link if you'd like to support the channel. And as always, if you need IT consulting, head on over to willyhow.com. Fill out the contact form that's on our front page and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.